Coin capsules. Are they worth buying for your gold and silver? How well do they protect your coins and bars? Which ones are best? And where can you buy them? We will go over all of this and more coming up. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Campbell's Coins. I had a great Thanksgiving. I spent some time with family, played a little football, ate too much, and I got some dove hunting in. It was a great time. I have many things to be thankful for, and I hope that you all had a great Thanksgiving as well. So we are gonna cover some basics with coin capsules. Before diving into it, you first have to determine if you need a coin capsule. For collectible silver, I say yes. This is rare, old silver coins, and modern collectible coins. Most collectible silver coins produced today are sold in a coin capsule. For junk silver, a basic coin tube is more than sufficient. Some might say that's a bit too much. I use canvas bags for a lot of my constitutional silver, but when I want to keep it neat and stacked, a coin tube works great. If you're looking to store any sort of gold coin, I say definitely get the coin capsule. Gold and silver are soft metals, gold more so. But due to gold's value, you wanna keep it scratch and dent free if possible. In my eyes, there are two reasons for this. Aesthetically, for your own viewing pleasure, and for resale value. If you take a scratched up gold coin to an LCS, you will be offered melt or less than melt for it. It doesn't matter if it's a buffalo or a gold eagle. Keeping your coins and bars in good shape helps you down the road for resale, whether it's for you or your family selling those pieces. What type of capsule do I prefer? For me, there's only one, and that is the Airtight Direct Fit Coin Capsule, spelled T-I-T-E. You have to be careful because there's a lot of different capsules out there. I think there's a Guardhouse brand that's a Direct Fit, which are fine, but they're not the Airtight brand. These direct fit capsules are really loose and easy to open. Airtight lives up to the name. They are not airtight per se, but they're pretty darn snug. These are not easy to open either. One way to open them is with the edge of a blade. If it isn't the brand airtight, I just haven't had the greatest of luck with them. A lot of coin capsules are adequate. They are a lot cheaper than airtight. They get the job done, but if you are moving them around, say like in a box, the coin can pop out. If you drop them, the coin will definitely fall out of them. I get the adequate capsules for lesser coins or use on coins I know I won't be moving around much, but I prefer airtight. Plastic coin flips, I don't recommend for storing your coins. These should be only used as a temporary placeholder until you can get your coin in a capsule. A lot of mass-produced plastic coin flips contain PVC, which can damage your gold and silver coins given time and environmental conditions. PVC really eats through and damages silver more than gold, but it can still stain your gold coins and you don't want that goop on them. Airtight makes a capsule for just about every type of coin out there. Not all, but most. Pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, dollars, and most modern gold coins. Pre-33 gold is difficult to find capsules for since the sizes are slightly different from the coin dimensions that we see today, but I have found that one can find a capsule to work. For example, the penny and nickel capsules can work for some of those smaller pre-33 gold coins, and the modern half eagle, gold half eagle, that works well for the half eagles of the pre-33 coins. Some pre-33 might be slightly loose in the capsule, but it's still good protection and you're not really shaking those up. Airtight makes a variety of sizes for the same kind of coin. Here are two gold maple leaves, one with a foam insert and another which is a direct fit, meaning there's little to no space around the coin and the edge of the capsule. There are other capsules with no foam ring, but the space between the edge of the coin and the edge of the capsule is more pronounced. The coin sits within a raised plastic area. A lot of government mints have thick direct fit capsules, which I have not been able to locate in the private sector. These capsules are amazing, 
But there is no point to go over this because they're very difficult to source. In addition to the variety of sizes, Airtight produces foam inserts in a variety of colors. Black is the most popular. They make white and green too. I prefer the black foam inserts if I was buying foam. But if you were to ask me to pick between foam capsules and non-foam capsules, I doubt I could give you an answer. Each has their own merits, and I have both capsules protecting my stack. The black foam really sets the gold and the silver coins in a nice presentation, but the clear plastic or direct fit capsules are no slouch. I like being able to look at the edge of the coin, and I think that it gives the coin a neat and classic look. Why would you want coin capsules? The obvious reason is protection. It protects your coins from basic handling, wear, user clumsiness. I've dropped coins and capsules more times than I care to admit, and while the capsule might have cracked, it never split open and the coin was perfectly fine. If you're prone to dropping things like myself, you might want to opt for the capsules with the foam ring. I don't think it protects the coin that much more, but that padding along the rim has to do something, right? Another positive with the foam is once you place the coin in the foam and into the capsule, if you were to open it up again and take the coin out, the foam is still fairly snug around the coin too, so it's protecting the edge a little bit when it is outside of the capsule. For bars, capsules work to a point. I'm not sure if it's because I don't have airtight capsules, but I have found the ones that I use for my silver bars to be fairly loose. I have a few for the one ounce and a few for the 10 ounce. The 10 ounce I have found to be very, very loose. The one ounce ones are a little bit better, but not that great. And I have found with like very basic handling that they can break really easily. The problem with silver bars is the various shapes and sizes that they come in. A one ounce silver bar can be just a few millimeters longer than another brand simply because it's less thick. Some bars might be the right length, but too thick for the capsule to close. I prefer to get the air tights with some space between the edge of the capsule and the coin. While the direct fit air capsules protect the coin from drop damage just fine, the space between should offer just a little bit more protection. If the coin is snug in the capsule, the foam insert really shouldn't matter. The foam might add a little cushion during impact, but I think the difference would be negligible. So where can you find and buy these air tights? Airtight capsules are everywhere. I have links in the description below for the ones that I like, but your favorite online dealer and LCS will probably have them. Just expect to pay a little bit more at these locations versus Amazon or another bulk seller, especially if you're buying a single capsule at a time. Amazon has a large variety and that's why I choose to buy off of there. My LCS doesn't always have airtights that I need. Um, there is a seller that I prefer. I think his name is like Fire Guy or something like that. I have zero affiliation with this person. I receive no kickbacks from him. He's just a good seller on Amazon. And I, th I think he might have an eBay store too. I like getting the airtight capsules sold in these red top tubes. Not only are my coins protected in the capsules, but these tubes offer great storage and protection for your capsules. If you're a bit OCD like me with your things, these are perfect to scratch that itch. If you're looking for bulk purchases of airtight capsules, there are websites which offer that option. I think this covers coin capsules. If you have any questions or comments, let us know down in the comments below. Your time is your most precious asset. I appreciate you spending it here with me. Thank you all for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.